Hey guys, it's Jane. Welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to my channel, my name is Jane. I've been in Japan for almost 11 years. In my channel, I teach kanji lessons and I also share some of my experiences here in Japan as a foreigner. So anyway, today our kanji lesson is about body parts or karada no bubun. Okay, so again, there are two ways to read a certain kanji. The first way of reading a kanji is kunyomi kunyomi as you can see it has a meaning or it's the japanese way of reading a certain kanji and onyomi is the chinese way of reading a kanji the difference between the two is that kunyomi if you see a certain kanji it has a meaning while onyomi let's say this this kanji it doesn't have a meaning unless you partner it with another kanji before or after a certain kanji. Anyway, our first kanji for karada no bubun or for body part parts is this kanji. It's kunyomi is kuchi. So when you see this kanji alone, it's kuchi or in English it's mouth. It's onyomi or ku and ko ku and ko the examples that i have for you are de guchi de is from the kanji deru which means go out and guchi kuchi here becomes gu de guchi means exit and then the other one that i have for you is jinko Again, the other reading for this kanji, kuchi, is ko. If you partner this kanji, which is kuchi, to jin, jin is person, it becomes jin ko, which means population. So this is how you write this first kanji for our karada no bubun, our body parts. It's very simple. Can you see it? One, two, three. There are only three strokes. Next. Our next kanji is me. It's konyomi is me or ma. And it's onyomi or moku or boku. When you see this kanji, ah, it's I. My student told me that the origin of this eye is, let's see your eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna, your eye, I'm gonna draw an eye. It's like this, right? So this is an eye. And then when you turn it upside down, it becomes like this. And that's why when you write meh, it's this because of the shape of the eye when you turn it upside down like that okay so anyway this is the way to write me so it's one two three four five me and the examples that i have for you are me tama me tama so this kanji alone means ball or tama in Japanese. So the meaning of this is eyeball, metama. The other example that I have for you is a little bit difficult. This is moku, moku because the other reading for this kanji me is moku. And then this one, this kanji is teki. Mokuteki means goal. Okay. For example, what is your goal today? Kyo no mokuteki wa nan desu ka? What is your goal today? Kyo no mokuteki wa nan desu ka? So that is how you use mokuteki in a sentence. Anyway, that is, those are my examples for you for our second kanji. Our third kanji for karada no bubun, our body parts, is this mimi. Means ear. 
The cognome is Mimi and the onyomi is G. Just one onyomi for Mimi no kanji. The examples that I have for you are Mimi uchi. Mimi uchi means whisper into someone's ear. And the other one is Sora Mimi. This one, this kanji, this kanji is Sora, means sky. And then this one is Mimi. Sora Mimi means deafness. Deafness. Okay, so the next kanji for our. Okay, before we move on to the next kanji, let's write Mimi first. So it's one. Two, three, four, five, six. So there are six strokes. Should be like that. Six strokes for Mimi. Okay, our next kanji is this one. Te. When you see this kanji alone, it's te. Its meaning in English is hand. And another reading is ta. Its konyomi is only shu. Shu. Okay, so the examples that I have for you for this kanji are tegami. Tegami, te, plus gami, gami or kami. Kami means paper. Tegami is letter in English. The other one is te hon. Te, plus hon or book. But the meaning of tehon is model. Okay, so this is how you write this kanji te. One, two, three, and then four. Okay, so this is te kanji. The next kanji that I have for you, our fifth kanji for today's lesson for karada nububun, is this kanji, ashi. Its konyum is ashi. So when you see this kanji alone, it's ashi or feet or leg. Okay? And the other one is it's another konyomi is tariru no ta. Ta dake ga this kanji. Ashi no kanji. It's meaning tariru no imi wa tariru's meaning is enough. And the other one is tasu which means add. Its onyomi is soku. Soku. The examples that I have for you are tariru no tadake ga ashi no kanji desu ne. And then riru is written in hiragana. Tariru means enough. And then another one is ashi oto. Ashi oto means footstep. Ashi, this kanji is ashi, and then this kanji is oto, which means sound. When, when you combine them together, it's ashi oto, which means footstep. Okay, so this is how we write ashi. Ashi no kanji. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is ashi. Our last kanji for today's lesson for karada no bubun is this kanji chikara actually it's not part of the body but i guess we use our power that's why this kanji is also for karada no bubu no kanji i guess anyway this kanji is just like a big ka for katakana katakana's ka and again the kunyomi of this Kanji is chikara. Chikara means power. And then its onyomi are riki. Riki and ryoku. Riki and ryoku may be refers to mental ability. Okay? So the examples that I have for you are gaku ryoku. Gaku, which refers to school or something related to school, and then power. Chikara, so gaku plus chikara, the reading is gaku ryoku. Gaku ryoku means scholarship. And the other one that 
I have for you, the last example that I have for you for this kanji is this one, bariki. Bariki. When we look carefully at the kanji, this kanji, this first kanji is uma. Uma no kanji. Uma means horse. And then chikara means power. So, bariki means horse power. Anyway, this uma can also be read as ba. And then this chikara is riki or ryoku. But when you partner this chikara to ba or uma, it becomes riki. So the reading for this kanji is bariki or horse power. This is how we write chikara. One and then two. Guys, so we are done with our karada nububun no kanji. I hope you learned something from our today's kanji lesson. That's all for today and see you on my next kanji lesson. Goodbye!